man, the Lord just wrecked my heart today during my set this afternoon. And I just I had to share it with you guys. A lot of you guys know that I'm one of the prayer leaders for our worship team on Thursday afternoons at Upper Room from 12 o'clock to two o'clock. And I love doing it so much. I feel like our team just encounters the Lord every week. And it's just an awesome time of worship and prayer continuing for this generation of young people exalting the Lord in worship, all the different things. But today I just got struck by something that happened during this set we were just in a time of worship and there's room in between the stage and where the first row of seats is and sometimes people will come up but this afternoon during our set for a few minutes there was these three little kids that just came up and just were kind of like running around and being innocent and sort of like playing like and it was fine it wasn't like distracting or anything it was just like kind of really cute anytime something like that happens you're just like especially when we're in this time of like worshiping the Lord and you see these children and you're reminded of like how the Lord is just moved by the hearts of children and how you know we're supposed to become like little children to inherit the kingdom so I'm watching these little kids there's three of them two little boys one little girl and they all have like these little capes on these colorful capes and they're just like kind of running around in a circle being really cute and playing right then all of a sudden this other little girl who kind of wasn't a part of their group comes up with her mom and she has like a little bear and she like runs in and kind of jumps in to the fun with them and she like starts running around in the circle with them and she's like enjoying it for like five seconds and then the other three kids stop and the other little girl is like hey you don't get to run with us. <laughs> I'm watching this whole thing from the stage. Like I'm, I'm seeing it with my own eyes, watching this whole thing go down. I can hear this little girl completely like shut down the new little girl who just tried to join in. And that's what happened. You see that the little girl with the bear who tried to jump in her like, she was like, oh no. And <laughs> She like shut down and like kind of went back with her mom and was like, oh, like I don't get to be a part of things. And I'm watching this happen. All of a sudden it goes from a really cute moment to like, oh my gosh, this is like, (laughs) I'm having like a a full display of just like sin. (laughs) And I'm so put off by what this, with this group of little kids did to this other little girl who wanted to join in with them. And the Lord begins to wreck my heart over this moment. Like this is right in the middle of our prayer set. My buddy Mark is, he's praying about something on the mic. I'm sitting right next to him on stage and I'm not hearing anything he's saying because I'm like zoned in to what's happening with these little kids. And the Lord begins to show me how this is like a picture of what happens whenever the body of Christ is enjoying the Lord and the Lord is like, yes, oh my gosh, like I'm so moved by the way that they're enjoying me. And then another part of the body tries to join in in exalting the Lord together with them. And they're like, hey, we have no need of you. Like you don't, you're not a part of this. And it just how fast it turns from how the Lord like enjoys this to now all of a sudden he literally has to oppose the pride. It says that the Lord opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. He literally has to oppose the pride that says, "Mm, I have no need of you. You're not a part of this. And he just started wrecking my heart because I've realized over the years, I do this. And that's so not the heart of the Lord. He is so inclusive. He says that anyone is invited to the table. Anyone can come in and be a part of the family. And whenever we like, the eye says to the hand, I have no need of you. Just, I felt like I just got a glimpse of how off putting that is to the Lord through this little picture. Man, I just wanted to share that with you guys. The Lord's wrecking my own heart about it. And I'm asking him, Lord, do not let my heart go there towards other parts of the body. I always want to be one that sees through the lens of Jesus and invites 
anyone to be a part of the family, anyone to be a part of the experience with God and to never let my heart get exclusive like that. So, man, grab a hold of this. I believe this is for more than just me. That's why I'm sharing it. We need each other. And that's the end of the story.